Welcome to City Skylines Mass Transit and the train scenario. In the last part, well, we started laying in the main rail lines. We've built this area up and we put a cross city cargo link on after a while. After I actually sorted out that I used the wrong railway station, but it's now working. I've also reversed the direction of traffic here so that we've got a one way flow coming through here. I think we can speed the game up a little bit and we've now got effective, effectively this station here now carrying goods all the way across to here plus we've now got an external link it doesn't count towards the number of people being carried but we so we've got a long way to go yet yeah, we've got it's coming up to 85,000 people carried carried by train we've got most of the footage and it looks like we've got a bit of a water problem here so I think we'll have to come down here. 60, let's get that tagged on here. What I want to do in this part is get a bit of a train system here. We've got a little bit of a beach here. So what I want to do is get in a passenger port. I will try and remember to use the correct ones. And I think what we're going to do is just put in a passenger port here Got to run the road out maybe we'll just run along the back of the beach here just so we can get a bit of a beach front if necessary get a junction kind of coming up like that I don't want the I can put a train station in here passengers and the quite of course we're going to have to put some water in got water there but we're gonna have to kind of curve out around the edge of the map for the moment I probably will buy this other tile here eventually come down the edge of the map like that it's come in like that because we've got a power issue as well I think we can just run straight up to here what I did off camera is I did what I promised, I moved these windmills to the hill so that we've got this kind of flow here. We've got loads of demand for residential and commercial and maybe I'll just get a little bit more in here, over here. I want to kind of develop this area as a commercial zone. That's Maybe we'll get a little bit more office space over here. Probably get a road in here. Sorry for the digression guys, but I think we need to do it. And get a little bit more industrial through here like this. A little bit on this side. Maybe down like that. And that kind of opens up the opportunity for for commercial there. Just check the that we don't really have the water, so maybe that was a fortuitous. And down here we've got the train station. The question is, do I connect up into these and provide a direct train line? up to here. I mean the rail line isn't that busy but I, I generally don't like connecting trains up into this area. My inclination would be to have another train station here that will run into the cities of some equipment. My inclination would be to have come out like that. Actually let's have a look at the connections that we've got this here, multiple train platforms. Wow, that would be cool. Wow, that is big. That is... The ah. Hmm. Is that a connection too? That is a multiple end platforms, 12 platforms for passengers that separate tracks connected allow passengers to change lines with ease. 
that a through station? This is a bit of a through station, isn't it? And that's got... Hmm. Hey guys, I, th I, I can feel a change coming on here. Okay, that's just going to pause the game. How, how expensive is this? That's 60,000. Okay, guys. I can feel the change coming on here. And I kind of want to do is come across like this. I don't want to put this in. Sorry, sorry I keep coming back here looking. Okay. I think we come across like that. Like that. Maybe if we drop that in about there and we delete. Yep, delete that. It's a bit overkill, guys, but I quite like the idea of this. And that can come out here. Get a nice curve in here. Click that up like that. Of course, my train line is going to be completely buggered now. So, that's the train line. That's the... The train line. We'll delete this, then we'll put a new line in again. It's got a metro connection in it as well. That's cool. That can come back here. I should have put one of these in first time out and change that colour back to the pale blue. Yeah, we've got a metro. Get that up and running. That's probably going to... Now it's got water. It's probably not going to have power. We're going to need to drop a power line across like that. We've got... Wow, I like that. Wow, that's going to be fantastic. It's uh, going to mean that, and I think what we're going to do is, this is going to mean having this having to curve out here. We'll do it very tight. I think if we come out, slope a little bit too steep there. Then we come straight down the map. Like that. And we curve out, we go three style a little bit here. Then we can put in another line up to here and back. Is that done for our 178? We got a nice train interchange here for passengers. Uh, metro, I've got to put a metro in, guys. It's a metro line there. And what that could do is 
uh, kind of thinking there. There. I don't want a metro line over here because I want the people that need to use a train. What we're going to do is. I do like my metro lines, guys. I don't know you. I know this is a train scenario, but I think it just works. And that should connect with the top there like that. And I think this can connect like that. And connect like that there and I think you can now normally I would make this into a circle but I'm not going to make it into a circle what I'm going to do is just let this run as a a kind of combination link Sometimes it can get a bit, a bit tricky getting these to connect up. Get another metro line here. Because we're certainly going to get connecting stops in there. Metro. Certainly going to have you a bright yellow. Certainly going to have you a bright green. You see 464 passengers. Hopefully that will, this line running up through here now, will connect up. I really like that. The idea of this station running in. It's a bit unfortunate with the slope here, but... And we've got a... question is, do I build a town up here? Well, we're going to have to have some... I think maybe we'll build you up out here a bit. We'll have to put some garbage in. And of course we'll have to put a police station in. And police and fire. Um, do I build this up as a town? Oh, we've got water issue. We just use this as a, a little bit of a port connection to uh, the city here. Uh, I suppose we could make this into a, a small kind of touristy commercial area. Maybe a little bit of residential here. But we'll make it low density, I think. And that would give people little bit of a reason to kind of come down here. It's not going to work. Okay. We'll come like that. Go across the back like that. Take this out. Just put in a kind of little watch of property here, and we'll put in maybe a park there and let's drop this in here. This should work. Let's take this off. Rope length it. Maybe we we'll just connect that up like that. If we put commercial or industrial here, we will have to have some form of 
kind of cargo connection. I'm, I'm just going to resist putting the cargo connection in. What I would like to do is just finish this off with uh, this scenario off by with passenger trains. And what we've got now, got this up here running, I think we can now and connect this through like that. Kind of, kind of fill in this area of the city. It's a bit gritty, but I think I think I'm just gonna stick with the grid theme guys. I'm not gonna in this part of the city. I think it'd just look a bit weird if I suddenly start. And I think what we're going to do got some residential there. I think if we can put some commercial in here like this. Like that. And then what we're going to do is zone this up through here like this, like that, and then we can, what we can do is make this into leisure tourist. Uh, I think we're going to go leisure. What I can do now is as this builds through. We can hook that up like that. Let's just go double layer offices and maybe some offices down here and there. We can connect up like that. This should start to to fill in and connect. I think what we can do is put some more high density across the back here like this. And we have a bit of a night spot here, so, so that will encourage more people to come in by train. And people from here might actually use the train to get to here. So that's connecting up quite nicely. Lots of power now. It's pack, we've got a power pattern yet. Once this connects, actually what we can do is just uh, drop a little bit of here. I don't really like this kind of incinerator on this corner, it's kind of bringing the tone of the area down a little bit. Uh, but I think it's going to have to stay for the moment. Yep, I'm quite happy with that guys. So we've got a nice train line running up through from here. We've got our small residential area here. People have got lots of reason now to live here, they can travel down here, they can get to the station, We've got lots of people there. Of course, people magically produce cars when they want to travel somewhere. We've got our little kind of upmarket residential area here. And of course, they've got no education here, so of course, if they want to go to school, they're going to have to come up to here. Come to think of it, I haven't checked education for a long time. So let's get some education in. Maybe we're a bit of education here. High school's getting a bit low. What have we got these people complaining about? Not enough buyers for products. Okay. I think what we can do is come here. I'll get, I've got a solution for that, guys. That's growing up nicely. We've got this growing. See how we're doing. So we've got 116,000 people there. The train line is going really, really well. Across here. And we've got this station. I really like this station. I mean, it looks a bit weird at the moment because it's only got the two lines running in this way, but I think what we will be doing is creating another new town over here yeah I think that's what we can do is we can create a new residential zone here hmm and I've got a thought of how I'm gonna do it guys 
and I think well we've got demand residential demand growing so let, let's get it started I haven't built one of these for, for a very long time in fact I can't actually recall doing this on camera and what this is is I'm going to build a road here like this and we're going to put a train station in immediately just going to put a normal passenger train station in. I'd say we'll put it about there. Then what I'm going to do is kind of I think do is run it across like this. And we can get it in dead like that. Maybe we need to come the other way. And just gonna come across like this. I think we're gonna pause the game because we're gonna break the power power lines. I think that just come oh no, I've got to wave the power lines. We've now got a train station here. And I've haven't connected up properly. Okay. Ugh. It is early in the morning guys. I'm I'm had to I'm hiding at the moment. It's just gone half five in the morning at the moment, and I'm having to record this very early because we've got unexpected house guests for the bank holiday weekend. And and like all house guests, you've got to be sociable. I mean, it's not that I'm being totally miserable. It's just that it's a little bit of inconvenient when I want to record. And what we're going to do is come here. Of course, this is noisy. Let's get the road length and grid back on. So I'm having to record this early in the morning. And what I'm going to do, sorry again, what I'm going to do is create a kind of ball like this. And I'm going to put offices, a watch of offices there. Okay, we've got no power, so to bring a power line in from here. We've got some offices there. And what we're going to do is create an area there. Let's grid this up for water. And what I'm going to do is create a kind of dormitory town that will feed into this city, but the their only connection will be rail. So they're going to have no choice. And I think what I'm also going to do is have a connection running out this way. So we'll give them two connections. We'll give them two choices. But this one, I think, will just run... Sure. It's going straight. So what we've got now is we've got a rail line running in run a rail line to here and back. Is that on? And we can also run from here to here and back and the idea is that as this grows I'm not going to put any education in the education is also going to be over here and as so as these people grow they will need to use the trains to get into here, to live, to do work. This can now kind of come out here. That can come across like that. Give them a 
a little bit of watch of commercial here because these people over here will want some commercial and a bit of entertainment in the evenings. That can come there and we can fill in this area here like that. And hopefully, oh, the one thing we will need to put in, which we can't escape, is sanitation. So we'll just put here. There's certain things that you've got to put in, whether you like it or not. And of course, we're going to put in some fire and police. I think we can put the police. Fire there. Also put in some place there. I think what we'll have is a, a kind of central core that will be high density, and then maybe we will spin out a kind of suburbs of flat level. So, how many passengers? Oh, they carried 11. And of course, what we're going to do is make this pretty upmarket. So let's kind of come up this way. In fact, what we can do is give this a little bit of a, a jazz up. And along with this, it's got, oh, we've got water shortage. Wow. Hey, yeah. Pipe in, clip that up. I'm not sure why that water might have cut off the power of it. Oh no, because of course we're on sewage plants now. So, mm, I think what we may need to do is double down on the water. We've got so much cash, we don't need to really worry too much. I think we'll just click that up like that. Water problem goes without saying. Now we've got a train suburb here. And let's just kind of colour this in. And I think you can have a pale green, have a bright yellow. I think we can have a black line in like that let's have a quick look so at the moment you're not carrying much but our blue line now is carrying over a thousand people at a time and we've now got a station here I think this station's a little bit overkill I think I would have liked to have had say multiples of this but then maybe that that will be available in the modding community now is you've got this one that's got two with a combination with the monorail I've got to remember to stop saying metro and this one kind of goes one two three four five six I think it would have been nice to have like had a, a three or a four station to fit in with the whole process as well so I'm looking at about 1601 passengers coming through there that's really cool I like that this area is now kind of running up quite nicely our ferries coming in 221 so there's probably quite a fair 202 passengers a dead person is waiting transportation okay I did forget all about crematoriums and of course that's another one that you've got to put in and I've got to put one crematorium over here and I think we're otherwise that's one of the things and of course we can put a bit of health in just to get I do want these areas as as kind of upmarket as possible. So, and this is growing up quite nicely. I, think, I, I don't want to. I don't think I really want to bring in cargo on this side. I think what I'm kind of a bit inclined to do is, and I think we can now start getting a bit. on say maybe on this side that and again
again, it's just going to stay low density through here. Well, it's not very efficient, but I think I'm at a point now, guys, where I can kind of just relax a little bit and put in this here. This can come across like that. Just make it a little bit. Yep, that's going to grow out that way. So we're going to kind of make this into our our seaside village. That looks quite cool, actually, with the kind of cliff type front like this. I mean, the the ports a little bit. So we'll kind of get this growing. Okay, we've got really big commercial demand again. Um, could. Out here, like that, just check the district. Maybe we can take this commercial district out a little bit, like that. And then we're zone all the way through here, like that. And maybe across the back of here, like this. Got a feeling this is going to form the southern limit of the city. I'd rather develop the other areas. So how are we doing? How's our scenario? Oh, we've nearly got 206. We've got four. <laughs> we need another little short track somewhere. Guys. Okay. Uh could we develop a new kind of new town in here? Connected up the track. A kind of new suburb that's going to fill fill in this area. Or is that just too artificial? I mean we could put a new town up on the hilltop here, but then we'd have to run a passenger line down here. I think what we're gonna do guys is we've got a nice big empty space here and I think what we're going to do is put a another road there put another train line there actually hmm where just connect that up like that that should yeah we've now got 210 tracks and again we're just going to just create a line like that there and again we're just going to put a, a watch of offices here and further through like that. That can just connect in like that. How's the power? Power's good. Got a little bit of watch of offices there running. Um, nah, don't like this, guys. No, nope. all gone, all gone. I think I'm just that's just an artificial construct. I'm aware of the time. Oh, we've got half an hour. We've got a few more minutes to, to think about. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is pause the game. And... I'm kind of thinking... Maybe...
Um, trying to think where are we going to develop a rail line. I'm kind of thinking more in this area rather than on that line there. Well, I think what I'm going to do is change this track and this station line here. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm going to come in here. This one's going to come in. So I want to try something out, and this is partly what these scenarios are about. And I don't know, can I... I put, put, bring you over to there. Oh, that's neat. That means that, that should people they should change platforms and and again this is this is going to be a little bit of a craziness I think what we'll do is we'll take the outside one and we're gonna, what I'm going to do is a one way Do is put a road. It's going to be a very extravagant way to do things, but and it's going to put a another passenger train like that. And I think I'll probably have to. It's not going to come in like that. We go free base. Okay. Delete again. I know I'm being extravagant, we've got so much money, it doesn't really make that much difference. Okay, let's go the other way. And we're going to come out of here like that. Maybe round like that. And then we're going to have the road. It's a road. Let's have a home. We're going to put the road here, like that. Put that there. come out like that and that now see the hooking oh, so we can hook that in like that and like that and that means we'll be able to create a one way line around like that and I'm going over time here guys but I just want to get this initially laid out, just for the fun of it. And again, what we're going to do is, but what we're going to do here is be completely a little bit off the wall. And that can come like that. That can come like that. I think this can curve around like this. I think you guys have got the idea of what I'm building. Say so this is going to be, I mean, kind of a very, very upmarket suburban area. Which is, there we are, and we've got a population of 50,000. We've now got a cargo hub. That it's going to make that much difference again. I'm just going to go low density, the whole area like that, and I'm just going to read through like this. Or 60, a bit more like that, like that, 
and you can come across like And we won't worry about offices here. This is going to be a completely suburban residential area. And I think I'll put fire here, or healthcare, put that right in the middle. And we'll put the healthcare there. And of course, we're going to have to put trash in again. I think the trash can be right out on the edge here away from the main residential area that's because we need a crematorium I think you can just kind of make this into a little bit of a service area in the center here so we've got fire area here because what we're going to do is drop down absolutely loads of parks yeah. couple of the parks there there, there, we will have another one, just didn't like that. And this will fill in. And what we've got now is a nice little one-way train system running around like this. So anyone living here who wants to get into town will be able to run around the train system like this. And, uh, and eventually this will fill in. We're just going to grow this area out. And I think this is where I'm going to finish, guys. So we're kind of building a train-based economy at the moment with this area here. This area will eventually fill in. Uh, we do need some more kind of commercial and in down probably but we'll build the commercial up here I think what we can do is fill in the big one actually no it was cancelled that and maybe we'll just put a bit of commercial over here to service the people coming into the station two sets like that that and I think this is where I'm gonna leave it guys just one quick check now we've well we've got the nuclear power station we've now got all the tracks laid down we've got 170,000 people now traveling by train let's just have a quick look at the how many people yeah so we've got this is metro what am I on about this is the train network we can put you a kind of very dark blue we got this one at the top here is obviously our top people traveling carrying their 41 tourists we've got this line here which is the power one we got tourists now coming in from this area maybe we can we will drop a some stuff in here to make it look a bit more touristy or maybe we can put something down here that will uh, see what would what would make it touristy down here golf course okay maybe we are let's put a golf course here and that means people that up here may decide to come down and pay a visit for the golf course but I think this is definitely where I'm gonna leave it now guys I will let the game run on a little bit, fill in this area, and I think probably the next part will be the last part, as we would probably just run through and complete the scenario. And I think I'm really happy with this, it's really coming together. We've got this area here, I think we will probably need to expand this a bit for the commercial and the residential. I mean, we've got a population of 50,000. It's the city's a little bit more gridded than I would have liked, but I think we've got our upmarket suburb now out here, serviced exclusively by a train line, which I think is actually, there's a few people starting to use the line. So 95 passengers. And I think this is a good example of how you can use trains 
within the city to really keep the traffic very, very low. I don't know how bad the traffic is. I haven't really been paying attention to it. Uh, ooh, we've got a pretty horrendous hotspot up here. I think what we may have to do is... I think what I might do off camera is put a, another junction here to feed into here. Trouble is that wall. Yeah, maybe if I put a junction up here off camera, it's not part of the scenario. And then that can feed in maybe traffic into here because there's a lot of traffic coming through here. And probably find some of it is probably being pulled from this highway down into here to get onto here to travel across to here. But I'm not going to worry about it, guys. It will come together over time. This area is growing up nice and slowly and steadily. Yeah, we've got people now walking around here. Of course, people will walk, and that's a key element of city skylines compared to things like SimCity, is your residents... I mean, if I put a footpath across there, they wouldn't use the train. So sometimes if you want them to use a specific form of public transport, you've got to force them. But at the same time, if you're just building a general city, you can get them to walk. I mean, you could get pick residents up here. If I put a footbridge in here, maybe... no. If you put a footbridge across here, you'd be surprised you'd have people from here would walk all the way across into this part, or people from here would walk all the way here to say, get the university, which is tucked in here somewhere. There it is, I think, is that the university? That's a high school. There's a university, oh, there's the university. So if I built a footbridge there, you'd get people walking right the way across the city to cross the river in there but of course in this scenario we want them to use the train and this is definitely where I'm going to leave it I've rambled on far too long guys so this is where I'm going to leave it hope you've enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming